Hi, welcome back to another episode of Witcher 3, Death March, Viper Sword only, Kaer Morin armor only, or as I like to call it, the Warrior's Jacket. Uh, we are down here near the Reardon Manor, going to take out this bandit camp. We've just been exploring and uh, trying to find money, uh, glyphs, uh, you know, looting. And now we've come across this bandit camp, and uh, hopefully they have some uh, cool stuff we can take. But we gotta kill them all first. But uh, that's half the fun, is killing bandits. I hear some dogs, too. Ouch! Pretty low level. There we go. Oh, there's a doggy over here. And a guy with an axe. He's a leader? Yes, he's a leader. <laughs> he just died from the poison. So I think there's just a couple more dogs down here, and maybe uh, that stench. One more bandit, but uh, let's kill everything first, and then we'll loot. Use the last one. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. No, there is one more. A guy with a bow and arrow, and he's... Oh, look at him. He's standing next to an explosive barrel. Uh-oh. Not a good place to stand, pal. Oh, darn. Not too much loot around. We got some ruby dust and some su a superior dancing star recipe. So that's cool. Let's see if we can uh, make that right now. Superior dancing star. Oh, we need some uh, Nostrix and some Negrito. We can make Negrito, I think. Uh, Nostrix will either buy or find some place out in the world. But the Negrito... Yeah, we have some white gulls, so we can make that. So now all we need is a Nostrix. All right, I'm down here kind of near Oriton right now, and I saw a yellow exclamation point pop up over here. So let's go check that out. Looks like there's a big building over here. I don't see any enemies yet. Let's get on in here. Oh, I remember this. Yes, let's go talk to these guys. What are you doing here? What? The sun flying from the moon? We're making offerings to the All God, clearly. You too can seek his aid. That's if you've got fit in offerings. He scorned ours, and then cursed the old village. The All God, you call him. First I've heard. Is some new deity? Nay, tis ancient, revered by our forefathers. They say it were like this. Roslav of Oriton came here to gather brushwood. And suddenly, for no reason, a bush burst into flame. Then, Roslav heard a voice from the ground. Demand an offerings and obedience. We've been coming here since then, bearing gifts. In exchange for which the All God watches over us, keeps us from evil. Mm-hmm. Plain to see that. So, what's wrong with your offerings? You needn't mock us. You can see right well we brought scraps. For the war, I wouldn't give this such to me elms. But what can we do? Such are the times. 
and they're like to get worse. All God said, if he don't get a rafter of bacon and a barrel of beer at least, the rivers will fill up with frogs and locusts or some such will devour the harvest. I could intercede on your behalf with this all god of yours. Got a feeling we'd come to an understanding. Well, I suppose it can't hurt to try. To speak with him, you have to stand afore the altar and cry out, All God, help a poor wretch in need. Who knows, he might just listen to a foreigner. A greedy god. So the way to speak to the All God is right over here in this strange statue. Oh, All God, help a poor wretch in need. Pretty please. How dare you disturb my divine rest, mortal? I dare disturb it because I want your divine self to lift the, uh, curse you cast. Those peasants really don't have. They must bring worthy offerings or they shall face drought, driving hail, earthquakes, avalanches. I have spoken. Avalanches? Here? Huh. How would that work? No answer from the All God. Fine. We can finish our conversation when I find him. Voice came from underground. Alright, I'm just gonna open oh, something to look at over here. Hmm. Why? More like vinegar. Someone drank it anyway. <laughs> Could follow the scent. So the scent will lead us where we have to go, but I'm just gonna check around up here first to see if there's any anything to loot. Looks like it's been pretty uh, picked clean though. I don't see any chests or barrels or anything. Alright, so let's go let's go around here and here's where there's an illusion. We have to use the eye of Natali to uh, find a secret entrance. And down here we're gonna meet the All God. What? Who dares disturb my divine being? Geralt of Rivia. Pleasure. Huh. <laughs> Expected the All God to be corporeal in form, but never thought he'd be corpulent. Fattened up nicely at those peasants' expense. Expense? Expense? Not a word about the help I give in return. Blessings, absolutions, enlightened advice. Believe me, these folks need all of it. I'd watch over them still if they fulfilled their end. But lately, they offer these pathetic scraps. That they steal from the mouths of their children. And to make matters worse, you cast a curse on them. And I'll not lift it till they bring me worthy offerings. I'm to settle for curds and whey. Not a chance. And you can tell them that. Oh man, these people all deserve each other. I'm not gonna bother uh, fighting him. I'm just gonna. If you you can you can fight him and kill him, and then the uh, the peasants get all upset because they they believe in the All God. So I'm just gonna uh, take a graceful exit. Fine, I'll tell them what you want, but they'll carry you out of here on pitchforks one day. You'll see. And then, you know, you can just loot the place anyway. Ooh, a ruby. I'd like to find some emeralds. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Emerald dust. That's going to help my sword vipering abilities. Uh, what else we got? Another chest? Yeah. Ooh, what we got? Superior Devil's Puffball. I think that's the uh, poison bomb. Anything else, Mr. Allgod? No. Can we make the Devil's Puffball right now? Looks like we cannot. What do we need? We need... Nostrix. Damn Nostrix. Gonna have to find me a Nostrix field. Alright, let's go talk to those peasants upstairs and give them the bad news that they are just gonna have to lead a life of serving this pathetic All God. Anything new? Talk to your all god, face to face. And? Will he show us mercy? 
Sadly, the All God wouldn't bend. Seems this shepherd's got a stern hand for his flock. Told you, tribal. Won't move him with tears. We gotta empty our larders. Oh, one last thing. Did you know there's a crypt beneath this hill? Might want to take a look sometime. Architecture is fascinating. The game sort of implies that one day they'll uh, go down there and they'll they'll kill him themselves. So, good luck with that. All right, we're back here with Hatori, and we're gonna see what we can do with that emerald dust. We might be able to make a rune stone. Greetings, I fear. Greetings, girls. How might I be of help? Listen, would you craft something for me? Let's see. Upgrade. Lesser Miranda runestone. Very good. And then we still we can make the uh, Miranda runestone, but we're gonna need one more Miranda runestone to make the Greater Miranda runestone. So we're not quite there yet with the sword, but we're getting there. Very close. So long. I just came across this guarded treasure. It looks like a earth or fire fire elemental. The level is pretty high. Uh, I'm gonna try to kill it anyway, though. They're pretty slow. It'll be a good chance to check out my new uh, superior elemental oil. To see how much damage it does against this guy. All right, we're just about there. I got it down to uh, just a few more hits. I also was taking the Maribor Forest to get my adrenaline up as high as possible so most of the hits are like in the uh, 400 mostly doing strong attacks trying to get behind him I haven't really taken any damage he's pretty easy to avoid should go up a level too when I kill him yeah huh I'm surprised I didn't go up a level Ooh, a glyph, a glyph of Quen. And I have a, uh, I got a new decoction, uh, the Earth Elemental Decoction. Increases the Witcher's resistance to vitality depleting critical effects that occur during combat. Not sure what those are, but let's go ahead and make this anyway. These stones over here have, dr have chalk drawings on them. They look like the ones from when I was in the cave with Kira Metz. There's the swallow. But, uh, looks like they're all have candles lit. If you blow out all the candles, though, I don't think anything happens. Ooh, another Glyph of Quen! Nice. I might be able to, uh, upgrade my armor a bit more. Um, that's a lesser. And then I got a Glyph. So I need one more regular Glyph of Quen to upgrade the armor. All right, well, that's going to do it. Uh, next time, we're going to go check out this Nilfgaardian camp, the big war camp down at the end of the uh, map. One false move and you will regret and uh, I'd like to get into this house of respite. I heard that if you wear Nilfgaardian uh, clothes, they'll let you in. Let's try it out real quick. I've, I've been carrying around this stuff for this purpose. This is the stuff that I had uh, when I met the emperor with. No? Still no? Really? Pretty please? Yeah, I'm totally a Nilfgaardian. Oh well. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Will someone explain to me why you are here? Uh-huh. We crossed the Yara, we will cross the Pontar as well. Ha-ha!